I am in the midst of packing up my home studio, where I've done most of my audio work for the past five years. I don't know where I'm going to end up. Most likely next time we see each other, I'll be in a temporary space that I'm going to set up in between more permanent studio situations. It's for this reason that I'm really happy I have a pair of small portable studio monitors that I can take with me and set up wherever I go. If you find yourself in a similar position as me, you might be looking for a pair of portable studio monitors. You might be wondering which set of portable studio monitors is going to serve you best. To help you make this determination, I have a couple of pairs of monitors that are of exceptional quality and a comparable price point. The IK Multimedia iLoud Micro Monitors and the KRK Systems GoOx 3 Portable Studio Monitors. In this video, I'm going to do a little shootout comparing these portable studio monitor systems. By the end of the video, you should have a good idea of which is going to best serve your purposes. I've alternated using each of these pairs of portable studio monitors for the past month or so, so I will speak primarily from experience, but I'll also do a little test in which I record what comes out of each pair playing the same piece of music. I'll then run each recording through a spectrograph so you can see how each set does in bringing to life the original piece of music. Is this good science? Probably not, but I wanted to do you one better than just describing what I'm hearing when I plug in the speakers. Just so you know, KRK Systems sent me both pairs of monitors to test out against each other, but they didn't pay me to make the video. And I suspect in the end they might not be entirely thrilled with my findings, but stay tuned for more on that. Feel free also to check out the video description for timestamps so you can jump around to whatever is most relevant to you. Size matters with these, as they're both marketed for their portability. The iLouds are 180 millimeters by 135 millimeters by 90 millimeters. The GoOx 3s are 172 millimeters by 111 millimeters by 120 millimeters. They're pretty comparably sized, though the GoOx 3s are a little bit wider and boxier, while the iLouds are a little taller and more slender. The GoOx 3s all together with accessories and everything are just under 7 pounds or 3.15 kilograms, whereas the iLouds are just a hair over 5 pounds or about 1.7 kilograms. It's worth noting here that the iLoud monitors themselves are definitely a little lighter than the GoOx 3s. Part of the weight savings here comes from the fact that the GoOx 3s come with detachable stands and a handy carrying case, which the iLouds do not come with. I would say these are definitely worth the weight though. The iLouds don't have quite the same versatility in terms of aiming them from a surface to your ears and you basically just have to toss them in a backpack or something to take them on the road since they do not come with a carrying case. Both sets of monitors can screw onto a mic stand but I much prefer the idea of being able to set these up without having to carry around additional mic stands because that's heavy. Both of these monitor systems are Bluetooth compatible, but they can also accept RCA and eighth inch inputs. The iLouds come with an RCA cable, whereas the GoOx 3s do not. The power cable for the iLouds is a reasonable length, not so for the GoOx 3s, it's way too short. The cable connecting the left monitor to the right monitor is just right for the iLouds as far as I'm concerned, whereas it is absurdly long for the GoOx 3s. So let's talk sound. I noticed when I did the comparison, I used neutral settings on both monitors, but had to turn down the output on my interface for the iLouds so as not to have problems with my neighbors. They were just much louder out of the box. The frequency response range for the GoOx 3s at negative 10 dB SPL is 60 Hz to 22 kHz, whereas the iLouds do 45 Hz to 22 kHz, so just a little bit more on the low end. Both monitor systems offer some EQing options. The GoOx 3s give you the option of boosting by 3 decibels or rolling off by 2 decibels, both the high end and the low end. Meanwhile, the iLouds will do a high shelf, a low shelf, or what they call desktop mode, which is basically a middle shelf between 1 kHz and 10 kHz, along with a 1 dB roll off below 400 Hz. For the purposes of this shootout, I kept the EQ totally flat for each pair of monitors. Now let's hear how they sound. Thank you. 
it is now time to talk about the verdict. I suspect you already know what I'm going to say because you heard what I just heard, and it's pretty clear that the iLouds are the superior speakers. That said, the GoOx 3s, I think, are the superior portable monitoring system. What I mean by that is you need more than just a pair of good monitors to have a portable monitoring system. The carrying case and the speaker stands that the GoOx 3s come with are a huge value add. The difference between the sound qualities between the iLouds and the GoOx 3s is noticeable. The iLouds are much clearer. They have a wider frequency response and that comes through. You can, you can hear it, you can see it in the spectrograph. They also have a little bit more power. You can get more sound out of them. Not that I would be trying to get a whole lot of sound in this room with my neighbors right over there. The GoOx 3s are not so far off that the added benefit of having the carrying case and the speaker stands goes unnoticed. I think that system, that whole setup put together is really well tuned to my use case for a small pair of three inch speakers like these. As a result of having them so neatly bundled up and being able to take them on the road, uh, confident that they're gonna be safe in the little padded gig bag and confident that I'm gonna be able to point them at my ears the right way once I set them down on a surface next to a laptop, I'm just gonna get a little bit more use out of them. They're not going to be the last speakers that I hear my work on because I'm gonna listen to them on bigger speakers, on, on earbuds, on headphones. I'm gonna listen to a bunch of different things. So the fact that they're not the best sounding speakers of the two that we're comparing is not as noticeable as it would be if these were going to be my only single dedicated monitors that I'm setting up in the studio. They serve a different purpose. So I don't know your particular use case. I only know mine. But what I can definitely say without any reservation is that I like the sound of the iLouds better than the GoOxes, but I like the packaging of the GoOxes and, and what that means for my particular use case. Hopefully we've covered some details that will help you to make an informed decision one way or the other. And that does it for this video. If you found it useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up so that the algorithm shows us some love. Uh, and also subscribe to the Producer Hive YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you know next time we put something out. Finally, check out ProducerHive.com where we've got a bunch of written content that is in a similar vein to what we've been talking about here today. And with that, my name's Noah. Thanks so much for watching.